Welcome to a special episode of Distilled Shenanigans. Oh boy. The rascal's coming down. She, it's like she knows that we're recording. Okay, come here, Rex. Come here, baby. Come here. Hey everyone. Ricky and I wanted to break into our Gateway Bourbon series to talk about commemorative bottles and how to, that might even be the word, wrong word, but the bottle that you have in the, in the stash that you only break out on special occasions to cheers to that, everything that was and everything that will be. Um, today, because um, we're doing this episode today, because um, unlike what we had in the first episode, um, Ricky's health is not good. Um, and she is, um, this is going to be her last episode as the rascal. And we had a long talk about what bottle I should use to try and, you know, to celebrate all of the fun we had together because she got me through a divorce, a failed engagement, I failed fertility treatments, four moves, COVID, um, all the things. Anytime that there were tears, this little Nick would lay on my chest and soak them all up in her soft fur. So I'm going to miss this one. This is going to hit really hard. So we decided to go with the Knob Creek 18 because I told her that she was not allowed to leave me until she was 18 years old, just like a human baby. Uh, so... <laughs> Oh, so when we got the news uh, this week that that wasn't going to be the case, it really it really hit hard uh, for me, and um, I think it's going to be a relief for her because she has um, a very very large mass on the multiple lobes in her lungs that's causing her pain and much much discomfort. Um, so so here we are. So we are going to talk about Knob Creek eighteen. The rascal wants down. The rascal wants down. I'll show you in her natural habitat if she gets in front of the, um, in front of the fire. She loves the fire. Doing all of the bucket list kitty things. Now we just need some sun to come out so she can lay in the sunshine tomorrow. Um, Knob Creek is distilled by Jim Beam. Um, it's going to be actually Jim Beam's going to be our next bourbon in the Gateway series. Um, Jim Beam itself, the distillery, has been around, around a long time since 1795, and the white label Jim Beam has been around since 1933. So, very, very long time. Um, it has the same mash bill as Knob Creek at 77% corn, 13% rye, and um, 10% malted barley. Um, it's just the difference is just, of course, how long it's barrel aged. Jim Beam is barrel aged for four years. Knob Creek 9 uh, is what is on the bottle. Actually, I have a bottle of it. So like this is Knob Creek 9. So this is aged for nine years. And then um, there are several other um, bourbons within the Knob Creek line. Uh, I've been looking for the 12. I was hoping this was the 12, but it was the 18. I'm like, yes, I'll take it. Um, so the first release of Knob Creek on the shelves was in 1992. So there's a big difference between when Jim Beam came out and then when Knob Creek was first released in 92. So um, we will open this bad boy. Fresh crack is what they call this. This is another reason why it will be a good commemorative bottle for me, because I have not opened it yet. Um, sound of beauty. Mmm, smells delicious. I'm just going to take a little dram there and put the cap back on. So on first, you can almost notice the the difference in these two bottles, even, I don't know if you can, um, the 18 year 
It has rich, rich copper tones. It's very, a very pretty, very pretty color. Um, and I swear, like when as you roll it around, I can almost see a hint of red in there. And um, it's just a nice aged whiskey. As far as what it smells like, oh, this is gonna be good. I haven't tried this at all yet. Um, this smells like brown sugar. Maybe is that brown sugar? Aged oak. I don't know, maybe caramel? Of course it's caramel, that's what the website says, but to me I would almost go with a toffee, but um, yeah, that's me. My nose is probably stuffy from crying all weekend. All right, now we're gonna go in for the taste. Oh, that's good. It is, compared to the Evan Williams, this is definitely more full-bodied. Um, it hugs, it's a hundred proof bourbon, but it's still hugging like through here. Definitely a very complex taste. If you're a newbie, newbie, this might overwhelm your senses with how much is going on through the entire, um, through the entire thing from the front of the mouth all the way to the back of the palate. Um, it is complex yet it's very balanced and very smooth. Um, very, very easy to drink. Um, the finish, I would say, um, it's warm, like it's not too, but it's still only a hundred proof. So it still has that really nice bourbon hug, but, um, you can, I don't even know what that note is. We, I have lit the, um, the fireplace and she, so even though she's not feeling well, she still came down because the rascal must rascal. We'll finish from down here. The taste is full body. As you can see, the taste is full body with caramelized oaks and hint of um, some vanilla. I don't know if I'd put clove in there. But it is, it is damn good, you guys. If you see a bottle of this, I would highly recommend going and getting it as a special bottle to have in your, um, have in your life because this is great. This is great. Thanks for tuning in for the special bottle on um, how to choose what, something to commemorate. Hope you have a good night, everyone.